And we will say that you are good. And all the miracle you've done has brought us joy. And we are changed. And all the hope we have, we place in you right now. And we will say that you are good. And all the miracles you've done has brought us joy. And we are changed. And all the hope we have, we place in you right now. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Even in this season of Thanksgiving, the only scripture that kept on standing out in my mind is the same scripture that has always stood out in my mind every thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. Just as Paul Apostle said to the Ephesians, by declaring to them, let's give thanks unto the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us, blessed us, blessed us with every blessing that's considered to be spiritual in the heavenly places. Yes, Lord, thank you. I want to thank God in this Thanksgiving period for you and your family and for myself and my family. Those that are connected to us, those that we are connected to, those who have blessed us and those who have been a blessing to, that all the glory in this season will go to God who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings. Listen, the gift of life is a spiritual blessing. Your health and your wealth are all spiritual blessings. Everything you have been able to achieve and acquire, everything that has come to you in the realms above your own ability and capacity are miraculous. The fact that you woke up daily from the beginning of this year to this moment deserves some thanksgiving from you unto our God the Father of our Lord Jesus, who has blessed you and I miraculously, took us from no place to a place, brought us out of nothing to something. I give him praise. I thank God for you, my friends. It's just one of those times that I felt so excited in my spirit that I think I should just share with you and let you know there are many great things awaiting you because this same God who has blessed us will still continuously continue to bless us because it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. What a God we serve who has blessed us. He gave me life, spiritual blessing. He gave me grace, spiritual blessing. He gave me victory, spiritual blessing. He gave me all the power, to overcome spiritual blessings. These are the spiritual blessings that is flowing to you on a daily basis because of the price he paid on Calvary. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord. And we give him thanks. Father, bless us even as we bring our thanks offering and thanksgiving to you. As we bless you with the seeds of our lips by telling you you are wonderful, you are glorious. You are gracious. We thank you because you've been our blessing. You've been the shield over us and our families. We thank you. Even in the place of loneliness, we look to the left, we look to the right, we can see you. For the works of your hands declare that you are here. And we give you praise. And next year, we'll bring you more in Jesus' name. You want to bless him? Do you want to bless him? 
You want to bless him. I say you want to bless him. I say you bless him. Come on, you bless him. Hallelujah. You bless him because you are blessed beyond the curse. This is Pastor Victor coming to you from my little garden saying happy Thanksgiving. God bless you.